Welcome back everybody, this is Droid Addict here with another video to our ROM video review segment. And today we're going to be taking a look at Tranquil Ice by P3 Droid and Droid Junk. As usual we are on the Galaxy Nexus LTE with the extended battery in the back. And i got to tell you right off the bat, my impressions of this ROM, I'm not very impressed. There's not a lot of customization to it, the battery life hasn't been the best, and uh, there's just not a lot of support whenever it comes to themes and everything like that. So. All in all, I'm not extremely impressed with this ROM, but there are a few things that we'll take a look at that are pretty cool. And as always, at first we're going to jump into the battery here. So right now we're at about almost about eight hours of battery life, 37% uh, screen on time. We're looking at about an hour and 23 minutes. So all in all, the battery life is not the best that we've seen, especially compared to Gummy Next and Codename Android. That's really the, the bar that's uh, been set high by them with a screen on time about two and a half hours before our battery was almost dead. So uh, all in all, like I said, I've been on 3G all day, not a lot of Wi-Fi, so let's click on this and uh, we kind of see what our wake uh, screen is and Wi-Fi usage and everything like that. Like I said, not really impressed with the battery with the kernel that's already built into this ROM. So you might want to try a different kernel like iMozion's. I always give him a shout out in our videos, but uh, it's been the best kernel that we've used so far. So let's pull down the status bar here. You can see we got a lot of different toggles and uh, they're really cool, like nice and colorful, a little bit different take on those. Let's go into settings, kind of take a look at the toolbox. So we have status bar settings, lock screen settings, tranquilize toolbox, and jumping into the status bar settings, you can click into that, and you can turn the clock on and off, AM, PM, clock color, and clock styles. Then you can also go into status bar, status bar pull down settings. You can have the carrier, kind of change the carrier name up a little bit if you want to make your own personal touch on that, change the color. Uh, everything pretty usual that we've seen in ROM so far. And then you have your status bar toggles, so you can actually have the toggles completely gone. You can turn them back on, toggle the, have the different colors for the toggles, toggle indicator, and then you have the, uh, the toggle text. You can kind of change different things, the different dividers, everything like that. So nothing pretty impressive so far. This is where it actually gets a little bit fun. So you have the Tranquil Ice Toolbox, and, uh, or the Ice Box as they call it. You can switch the launcher from Trebuchet to Nova to the stock uh, Tranquil Ice launcher that's already on there. You can also change your boot animation on the fly, fast boot, ODM backups, and ROM maker. These two right here, I don't even mess with, just because I feel like I'm not at most, you know, not the most advanced user, so I'm not really going to touch it. Uh, switching your boot animation is pretty cool because you can actually change your boot animation on the fly without requiring an additional zip or anything like that. So, uh, and then switching your launcher, of course, you have all the, all those baked in instead of having one forced on you. So, speaking of things forced on you, that's it for the toolbox, really. But uh, let's go into to an app here. You can see that the menu keys on the soft keys are on both sides. I'm not a big fan of that. It's, it's something that you can't change, you can't get rid of it, um, and you can't change the colors, you can't have the magnifying glass down there, or change anything with the soft keys. So there's not a lot of customization, like I said earlier, whenever it comes to this ROM and the soft keys and, and having different things done, like as far as the battery. The battery indicator is pretty cool, um, percentage over the little blue battery bar up there, but you can't change it. So that's something that I'm not really impressed with overall because P3 Droid usually does pretty good work and uh, this ROM I feel like needs a little bit more customization to it before it's actually ready. So let's go into one of the bugs that I've actually found. So if you open up your camera, and this is our forward front uh, camera here, but if you change it to where it's on the uh, back side, or where the, it goes, you know, you're switching it from the front camera to the back, it'll actually blacken out the screen and then it waits for a little bit and then all of a sudden your camera force closes. So I don't know if that's just a, uh, a bug that's been found already or something that needs to be addressed, I'm not really sure. So let's do a quick recap here. We have uh, the pros being the ability to change your boot animation on the fly, uh, being able to change a lot of your toggle settings, uh, up in the, the pull down bar up here. So that's really nice to be able to change a lot of things there. The cons, the battery life is not great at all. Uh, also another con would be the ability to customize your, your soft key mod. So really lack of customization with a lot of things. And then that, that camera bug, like I said, I'm not sure if that's something that's been addressed already or something that's in the works to be fixed, but it is really annoying. Um, whenever you do open up your camera again, it would be back to whatever camera you were trying to change it to. So if I open up my camera now, it would be the, the front-facing camera 
that it would be on. So it's just something that's really annoying that needs to be addressed for sure. So uh, all in all, I would still say check out the ROM because P3 Droid usually does really great work. Uh, you can buy their TB TBH app uh, to have installed on your phone. That way you get the, the faster updates to the ROM and get uh, different leaks and everything like that. So make sure you follow P3 Droid on Twitter and Droid Junk. Uh, these guys have put this ROM together, and My Droid World is their website that you can check out this ROM. It's usually not on any other website. And make sure you follow us on Twitter, which is Droid Addict, and subscribe and check out all the other videos that we've done. We've got a lot of them up now, and there's going to be plenty more coming. And let us know in the comments and let us know on Twitter what ROMs you would like to see featured or some of the features that you want to see uh, in the videos. So just let us know. Thanks, guys.